from the heartbeat of America. A black man with hands production. In the spirit of no drama, Obama. It's time for talking she yeah. yeah. Hi, welcome to another edition of Talking Shit. My name is D. Andre. I'm showing off my voting sticker. I voted today. I voted, I voted, I voted, I voted. I voted. I voted in the California primary. I voted when I helped Barack Obama win last time. I'm going to vote again. I'm going to keep voting. I voted for Dianne Feinstein. I thought, I didn't know she was on the ballot. I voted today, see, because I want this country to survive the evil hands of the Republican plan. Man, uh, Bill Clinton pitched last night, man. He hit it out of the park in my second favorite city, uh, opposed to living in L.A., um, New York, and San Francisco. And he, they're in New York. They're at a fundraiser, and fundraiser, and Bill, Bill, shh, Massa gonna give some cookies. I mean, Bill Clinton is one of the most whitest, blackest, blackest, whitest people I've ever known. I mean, he laid it down. He 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 presented the European plan of the fake plastic man, and he talked about Romney, and he pointed out that it wasn't really vindictive or vin it was just really common sense Sesame Street math and he added it up instead of tearing it apart and and I love Bill Clinton and I love Barack Obama um, and I love the fact that he's on message and you know we can win this man he got about six or seven states where it's really really close and we need to get Bill out there and hit him out of the park Bill Bill Clinton you know, hitting them out of the park, hitting them over the fence, hitting them out of the park. Bill Clinton, you know, really doing... And that we haven't even pulled on. We haven't asked Hillary for help just yet. Joe Biden is a prepared. You know, he always prepared. <laughs> Joe Biden, you know, vocally turns up to Mike Tyson. He'll bite your ear off. I mean, he's really, you know, metaphorically. You know, I want to talk about being a Democrat. You know, I want to talk about having a bleeding heart. Um, I want to talk about uh, everybody playing by the same rules. I want to talk about how these Republicans don't want these women to have this equal pay. You know, they shot down that law today. I mean, uh, we need to make sure that we see what they're doing so we can continue to learn how we don't want to do that no more. And that's what Barack said last night in addition to Bill's great speaking. Barack pointed out that we do not need to go backwards. We do not need to go backwards, you know. We do not need to go backwards, you know. And and we do not need to be treated like we don't know what that looked like. See, basically what this country is going through is like, have you ever been on a, on a road trip or something? You make a wrong turn and you keep driving and you know you should have turned around two or three or four minutes or months or years ago, but you keep driving. Then all of a sudden you realize you're going the wrong direction, so you got to turn around and go back and backtrack. And technically, that's what we're looking at when we talk about certain numbers that haven't changed. We driving off this road, see? Barack got us out of the ditch, see? Now we got to pass by all the shit we saw, you know? And it's going back the other way, baby. It really is. And what's going to happen is we're going to win this election, we're going to move forward, and we're going to trust the leader of the free world. We're going to trust the guy that took out the number two man of Al-Qaeda, okay? They don't want to give him justice. And then he took out Osama bin Laden, you know. He's not sending a million troops to get one person, see. He's sending one drone to do one thing over the phone, see. The man thinks, you know, I praise him, I like him, you know, I lift him up because I know that he's what we need. And the proof is what he's already done, man. <clears throat> he said, you know what, marry who you want to marry. Not only is it going to help you get out of that anxiety of the homophobia that's thrown at you, but you can help this economy and shit. Let's get some. Let's get the the gay people are get married. Good, cha ching, you know, uh, and, and get those marriage certificates and get that money. Uh, let's re. There was a couple of initiatives on the ballot uh, for raising taxes. I voted for them. 
You know, how else are we going to pay for it? People act like we're going to be the number one country in the world based on some sort of a really kind of a laid back, we got, we got what it takes attitude. When we have to pay for stuff, we have to pay our dues. And the taxes that we pay in this country, and I'm not saying that we should have taxation without representation, but I'm saying those tax dollars that we see uh, a lot of these corporate folk slipping in and out away from, you know, that's how they get to prosper in the way in which they prosper. You know, these loopholes, these little, they burrow through, <laughs> Ooh, be quiet now, we're going to get the money. <laughs> You know, and they don't want to feed nobody, they don't want to help nobody, uh, you know, um, and it's really sad. And what I'm saying, and what I'll close with, is that this country, you know, and I like the way Bill said it, you know, how else are we going to continue to move forward and get off this road, man, uh, without Barack Obama? He's on his way to L.A. tomorrow, he's going to tie up some traffic. Because it's not, and it ain't even because he's visiting. It's because people want to stop guys like Antonio V. Ragosa from really moving forward with a lot of this metro railing that they do in San Francisco. I mean, San Francisco, baby, when you go to San Francisco, I mean, you get on those trains, you get in out of that BART, and you do your part just by riding in them carts. <laughs> I mean, it's healthy. And so hopefully America will see, you know, as a whole, you know, that we need to build some stuff, man. And we need to tell Congress to stop tying up the money. Uh, they're so eager to go and blow something up, you know. And they're so eager to use that blowing something up to tear the dream down. And the dream is to keep jobs, the middle class jobs, the building jobs, the construction jobs, the tech jobs, the green jobs, the kind of job that Barack Obama is doing, where he doesn't talk aloud and do all that hollering and stuff. But like his buddy Bill, when he does speak, we need to listen. We need to change. We need to move forward. We need to vote for Barack Obama. We need to know that this is going to help us the way he's got it planned. I'm talking to you on the day of the primary, and I'm telling you that we're in business. I will give you an update tomorrow on what's going on in that recall race over in the East um, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. You got to hang in here with me. You got to get me up. You got to get the comments going. You got to let people know I'm here. You got to tell me what you want to hear about. You got to let me know what's up. I'm willing to talk to you. I'm willing to deal with things that I don't agree with. I'm willing to compromise. I'm willing to I'm willing to I'm willing I'm willing to move. I'm willing to move forward. I'm willing to do this. I'm willing to do that. I'm willing. I'm willing. I'll be right back. I'm coming again. Black Men with Hands Production.